The rise of the coronavirus has certainly taken its toll on the global economy and its well-being. It has caused many businesses to shut down and a death toll of more than a million. Researchers are scrambling to develop the world's first vaccine to combat the coronavirus, but this process of drug development is tedious. It requires lots of clinical trials and is thus very time-consuming. Since time is of essence, increasing the efficiency in drug development is critical in expediting the process of developing the vaccine. So this is where our project comes in, which is finding drug treatments faster through machine learning. Our project takes on a Kaggle competition called Mechanism of Action. Mechanism of Action is a term used to describe how a drug or any other substance produces an effect in the body. For example, a drug's mechanism of action could be how it affects a specific target in a cell, such as an enzyme, or a cell function, such as cell growth. Let us visualize better the role of mechanism of action in drug development. In order to develop a new drug, we need to first know the mechanism of action effective on the disease. Only then can we try to develop a drug that has a mechanism of action that counteracts that of the disease so that it can be cured. Thus, what we want to achieve in the project is to build a machine learning model that can predict the mechanism of action of the drug through algorithmic analysis. By achieving this, we significantly reduce our dependence on lengthy clinical trial, which leads to time efficiency in theorization during drug research and consequently faster drug development process. Our model is essentially a multi-label classification model. This model is trained by feeding it data on how human cells react after being administered a drug and the result will be the mechanism of action classification for that particular given drug. However, there are 876 features in our training data. Hence, one research question we have is how we are going to reduce the curse of dimensionality. We aim to combat this using principal component analysis and feature engineering to reduce the number of dimensions, so as to improve model performance. Another question was that if we could conduct effective exploratory data analysis to improve model performance. We realized that some input features have skewed distributions. This led us to experiment statistical features in our feature engineering, such as variance and skewness, which enabled the network to distinguish between different drugs better. The final question we want to address is whether we can implement a model that can consistently achieve high target stalls. In total, we have deployed seven types of models, namely XGBoost, and different combinations of a simple neural network and tapnet to produce multiple classifications. From our findings, a combination of simple neural network and tapnet gave the lowest log loss error among all, after applying feature engineering, label smoothing, and label assembling. With this model, we managed to clinch a silver tier in the Kaggle competition.